Notice the wheel on the left, the magnets are getting higher and higher. This is an interesting re interaction between these two wheels I did not anticipate. This is something I just discovered a few minutes ago. Anyway, this is how far along I am now. I got the secondary wheel up here. Okay, and the, uh, I don't know if this is going to go on indefinitely or not. This is crazy. It's interacting with the magnets over here. So, let's see, look here, go back down here. Yeah, those magnets are still going up high on the left side. That's bizarre. Look at that. Wonder how long it'll do that. If it keeps doing it, I'll let it go like that and I'll go to bed. And see if it does that and still do it in the morning. Anyway, I need to show you something. I can always restart this. Um, I turn this on the side here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. These magnets are so powerful, they're interacting with the other set of magnets down here. See, when I move this, I move the top one too. There's something crazy going on between these two. That's something I never anticipated. Anyway, let me stop these. What's going to happen here is that, and I don't have all the magnets on here yet, the magnets here are going to go halfway around on this block wheel, and the other wheel, I already have them going halfway around the entire wheel, as you can see here, and that's the halfway mark right there. Okay, I'll see how low. Let's drive the top one now. Okay, so... The whole concept here is these two wheels will be locked together. I haven't figured out a good way to lock them. Um, I'm still formulating. I have several different ways. I just want to do the one that's the easiest, but I don't want to look like, you know, junk. I've come up with different ways to do it. But I've got to lock these two wheels together. And what's going to happen here is that where this halfway point ends, this halfway point will begin. I'll hold this in place. About like that. It'd be probably lined about like that. Okay? So as this stator here, I mean, sorry, as this armature magnet here, on this one here, leaves the uh, stator, this is the stator, I'm holding one in my hand, as it's leaving this last, as this magnet here is leaving the stator, this one here is being sucked in or pulled in by the next stator, stator number one, and that's stator number two, and so on stator, on the other stator, this here is now being pulled in. And since these wheels are locked together, as this gets pulled in, it will help to make sure this last armature magnet here pulls free and clear of the stator here. Now, in earlier experiments, I didn't need to do this this way. Um, but I would use two or three of these stators and get the same results on one wheel. Now, many people have said, well, why don't I just put the magnets all the way around the wheel? Okay, one, it doesn't work. And two, I'm going to explain why I believe it doesn't work. This is going to sound a little crazy because I'm going to use a term that's never been used before on the web. I don't know if this will make any sense to you. So let me explain this to you in a layman's way. Think in terms of like an electrical circuit. We have circuits that does its job and makes it possible and allows the light to work. But if there's a short circuit at the base of the light, this light bulb will no longer work. Okay? It's called a short circuit. Thus the term short circuit. Okay? So, what I have figured out is that this magnetic field, when you make a circle, goes all the way around. It becomes a magnetic short. I know that sounds a little crazy, but hear me out. So when I create a gap, a small gap, take, in other words, take some magnets out of the circle, the wheel will start to go again because the magnetic loop is no longer closed. It's open. 
and so the magnetic ring is not shorting out a magnetic short. I don't know any other way to explain this. Just know that if I put magnets all the way around, it doesn't work at all. I mean, it doesn't even try to work. It just doesn't work. Okay, so once I lock these two wheels together, when this wheel is under the influence of the stator, this wheel will continue to pull this wheel around because it will be locked. As we get to the last magnet here, that's getting ready to leave the stator, which will be here, it will help to assist this one pull, come, I'm sorry, I got set it backwards. As this one is beginning to leave the station, this one here is getting pulled into the station. This is the station or stator. As this one gets pulled in, it's going to help transfer the energy or torque to this one to help assist pull this one free and clear of the stator that's here. This will happen because these two wheels will be locked together in tandem. So they both will spin exactly together. I'm going to have to figure out a way to lock these two wheels together. So that's where I'm at with this project for now. I want to share that because you never know. One of these videos one day is going to be the last video you've all ever see from me. So I just want to put the stuff up in real time. Uh, I would have had this up over the weekend like I said I was going to, but I wasn't able to. I had a true life emergency with a very dear friend and they're still in trouble. Um, they're, they're under doctor's care, under a lot of doctors, and um, they probably will pull through just fine. But it's, I'm not available over the weekend and tomorrow and the next day and I'm not going to be around a whole lot. So I don't have time right now to work on this. So I'm up really late at night trying to get this together. Um, one last thing here show you the interaction before I sign off here for the night. Um, see the magnets down here? There is a big gap here, and in this gap between these two fields, these magnetic fields, is so strong, these are N42s, that right here in the middle there's a strong magnetic field. And these two fields are interacting with each other. Very interesting reaction. As you saw in the opening of the video, that was bizarre. I didn't anticipate that. Um, I will start that again after I finish the video, get it going, I'll go to bed, and see if in the morning it's still running. If it's still running, it will be a eureka moment, but I don't think I'll be running in the morning. Okay, so watch this. This wheel is stiff. i got to rebuild this, the, the, the ball bearings in this and repack them. This wheel here spins like, like butter. I mean, this is so smooth. It wants to move real easy. This wheel here doesn't want to move really easy. It's very stiff. So anyway, I'll move the bottom wheel and watch the top wheel move. And see if I move the wheel the other way, and the wheel the other way goes. You see? If I move it this way or this way and do this here, I can feel the torque already. But I got a setup here I don't think I've ever seen before where we have two independent half circles of magnets. Uh, so close to each other they can spin in opposite directions. Um, this is not complete again. I only have it about almost halfway around. I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, five more magnets to put on here and then it'll be halfway around. Anyway, I just want to give a, an update tonight because I don't know when I'll be back. All right, that's it. Oh, put this back up and let's see what it does again. There it goes. That is so bizarre. Wow, it's almost getting ready to go over the top. Look at that. Good heavens. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. It's not going lower and lower and lower and lower. It's just as high each and every single time. That is so bizarre. That doesn't make any sense. Why is it doing that? It has to have something to do with the interaction here, with these magnets here. Wow, that is amazing. I think it'll eventually stop. I'll let it run and, and in the morning, let's see if it's still going. All right, I got to sign off. I'm really, 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 really tired. All right, everybody. Thank you for your continued interest in my project. And hopefully there will be some fruits of my labor here 
very, very soon. Take care. Good night. And that's all the fit to print here from we um, from Lake Will Be Gone. Wow, that is so cool. Ah. <sighs>